In the last LEGO Gorilla Tag video, I built the treehouse. You guys really liked this video, and it got many views. But with many views comes many comments, and by far, the most requested mock to build. City. Add city. Do city. You should make the rest of stuff Please do city. city. I'm wondering if you build can build the main city nice store. City, AKA the mall in city. Make city. So you know I had to go ahead and fulfill your guys' requests. This definitely takes the cake for my biggest gorilla tag mock. I include as many details as I could, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's the ATM. Um, of course, this little tile up here is just made to represent the dollar sign that's set there. And I actually really like how this little build turned out. I think it is definitely one of my favorite of the smaller detailed builds in this mock. Right next to it, of course, we got the board that has all the gorillas names on it this one was very easy and simple um a very similar to how i did the one in my original gorilla tag video we just have one orange and one blue i can't really fit everyone's on there because lego pieces aren't that small but these white is just to represent their names going up a little bit you can see this is also one of my favorite parts of the entire mock we've got a little atm sign of course this is also in the game going over we got the entrance to the shop which i think looks great along with the four little lights on top it took me a while to figure out how i was gonna design these little lights but in the end i think they turned out very nice going more to the left we have the little crate that just has some cosmetics inside usually this just has like the update cosmetics in it the cosmetics inside aren't anything very particular. Up here is where it would say whatever update it was, but it's just blank because it's not, again, specific to any update. Right here we got the firework launcher. This is one of my favorite cosmetics in Gorilla Tag, and I think I portrayed it well in LEGO. Moving over here, we just got a few little like hats. Not They're also not meant to represent anything particular, but they are just there. And in the back, we've got this guitar which is just a lego friends guitar but i think it works to represent in one of the guitars in the game before we get any more into the video though let's take a look at some gorillas now there are some of these that are exactly the same as previous videos and before you all rush to the comments i know that there's no lava monkeys in city unless it is a private code but i just wanted to include some more monkeys so we're just going to pretend that this is a private code these three monkeys are exactly the same as previous videos. These two came from my original forest video, and this one came from the treehouse video. And then we have these two here, which you've seen in the past. This one used to have a top hat, but someone requested I build a mushroom hat, so I built that, and I thought it would look best on the white monkey, so I put it there. And then we've got the red chef hat, which was in the original Gorilla Tech video, but I just went ahead and I added this little slingshot onto the front torso. Because I just wanted to spice him up a bit instead of him just having one simple cosmetic. As for new monkeys, we've got a brown monkey, which I gave the top hat to, alluding to one specific character that a lot of little kids like to pretend to be in Grill Tag. And then we've also just got this black monkey. I kind of think of him as a newer player, because you can see he's got this heart badge, which if you did not know in the new Valentine's update, um, there is this free heart badge. So I can imagine he just grabbed the free cosmetic, and that's all he has. So you can see he has no other cosmetics, and he's just a plain black monkey. Comment down below if there's any color of gorillas or any cosmetics you'd like me to see replicate into LEGO. But anyways, let's get back to the build. If we move up some more, you can see we've got the broken window. We've got this monkey that's just jumping into it, but if we move him out of the way, you can kind of see how I built that. I used various little clear slopes and stuff um, and some snot techniques to try to get the broken window look. And now this is all just a normal window and the ATM sign that we saw earlier. Moving up, you can see this is all dark gray along with all these different masonry bricks and texture bricks in there. And then of course we got the third floor, which just has more glass and this is nothing special. But moving up a little more, we got something interesting. This was probably the hardest part of this entire mock. Now I knew if I built the city and the store, I would have to build the sign that says nice gorilla store. This was very hard to replicate because the sign is in pink and I don't have many pink plates. So I had to use a variety of different pink-ish tones. I think you can read it pretty well, there are black lines in between each word, so you should be able to read, so you can see this is N-I-C-E-G-O-R-I-L-L-A-S-T-O-R-E. -E. I think I did a really good job, I used the same technique um, to make the sign as I did to make the ATM sign down there. 
And it does kind of hang over a bit, but I, I would either have to make the sign smaller, which isn't really possible, or make the city bigger, which I just did not have enough gray bricks to do. We got the little white monkey with the mushroom hat up there, just camping on top of the sign. And then moving over some more, we've got the neon gorilla head. This was also quite difficult to make as well, but I think I actually did a really good job of making it. It's a lot less of a sign and a lot more here of kind of like a brick built gorilla head but i still included every part from it like the lime green outline the red eyes the red eyebrow or the blue eyebrows the blue nostrils and the blue mouth and you can kind of see how i did this with these little traffic light pieces um and they just sit in right here on the wall now this mock actually is modular and you can see i can go ahead and take off this top part and then take off the third level and then take off the second level. And this makes it a lot easier to be able to take it apart and take, look, take a look at the inside. If you've watched my other Lego Gorilla Tag YouTube videos, then you already know what's about to happen. But if you haven't, make sure that you go check out the previous two videos. There'll be a link to a Lego Gorilla Tag playlist up here. And I also have a Gorilla Tag YouTube channel. This is it right here, we are past 600 subscribers, I want to try to get to 1,000. So if you like LEGO, subscribe to this channel. If you like Gorilla Tag, go subscribe to my other channel. It really means a lot, and also thank you for all the support on these recent LEGO Gorilla Tag videos. I want to keep putting out some more. If you have any ideas for any cosmetics, or any maps, or parts of maps I should make in LEGO, comment down below. Anyways guys, let's get back to the video. Here's the outside, but we can just go ahead and turn this around to take a look at the nice inside of the nice gorilla store. Now I had limited space because I didn't want to really extend it really far out because I feel like it'd just be way too much. I did make sure to include some of the best parts of the first floor. Starting off, of course, we got the doorway over there and then coming in, we just got this lava monkey, but I think we're going to move him out of the way to get a better view. Over here, we got the board, which tells you how many shiny rocks you have in the amount of hours until you get some more. And then over here, we got where you buy the cosmetics. So here's like the little monkey head. And then over here is the board where you select your cosmetic. And then over here is where you click the buttons to buy it. Over here, we've got an actual new inclusion to the Grill Tech City map. This is the daily t-shirt. And this one's not supposed to be any specific t-shirt. It's just kind of a yellow monkey shirt. And then this little sign here with the blue letters says like daily tea or whatever. And then this is like a monkey mannequin head in gray. And then up here has the time until the daily shirt refreshes. I really like how they added this into the game. I also really like how I displayed it in Lego. Now let's take a look at one of the most iconic parts of the city map, the mirror. So we got the wall right here. There's one big wall here and then one here, but of course this one got cut off. So we just have the one wall and then we have the mirror. If we move our monkey out of the way, which has the which has the turkey leg cosmetic along with the top hat, you can see we got the mirror. Now of course with it being Lego without stickers, you can't really make an actual mirror. So we just got a light gray bit here with a dark gray outline. And then we also have the try on board. You come over here and you click a button. You can like try on a cosmetic along with the torch next to it. Now we can go ahead and add the second layer back onto the mock and take a look at it. So the second layer really has not much going on. Of course we have the broken window over there. We just have this green monkey running through maybe going upstairs to buy the golden mask. And then we've just got these two, um, I don't know if they're like benches or what they are, but they're just in Gorilla Tag. Um, and there's two of them up here on the second floor right at the entrance. We've also just got some supports here to hold up the third floor. And speaking of third floor, it's time to put that back and take a look at it as well. So I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure that these are just stacked up um, stairs on one, whatever like these are there's three of them stacked up and I think I actually did a really nice job replicating those in Lego moving over to the left we got these two little cylinders in the game they're more like over here but otherwise this would be completely bare and I don't think it would look very good so I decided to just scoot them over a little bit and add them in here so we just have these little cylinders stacked up We've also got our red monkey up here with his slingshot on his chest. That's gonna be it for this Lego Gorilla Tag video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Leave your suggestions down in the comments of any other parts of Gorilla Tag I should make, or any cosmetics or anything like that.
As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to check out my Gorilla Tag YouTube channel or my other Gorilla Tag mocks, click on one of the links in the end screen now.